reversing a string. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a function over here called reverse string. And this will obviously take a string over here. So what are we supposed to do in this? We're going to input a string and the output is going to be the reverse of that. So if it's H E double L O, the output will be O double L E H. I'm going to say return reverse string. And I'm going to simply take the string which was provided to us dot sub string. So what it will simply do is if we provide it with one over here. So what it will do is it will start from one and it will take the complete string just like this, right? And then what we can do is we, can, we have taken this string and then we can put H at the very last. So we can take the first character now. So I will say str dot there's a function called char at. So what char does is it returns the character at the specified index. So we need the first index, right? So we're going to say zero. That's it. That is all you are supposed to do. But wait, we haven't written the base case over here yet. So there's going to be one point, right? Where all of the characters of this string will be exhausted and we will be provided with just an empty string. So we're supposed to say if str equals to empty, then we're going to return empty, right? Else we're going to do this over here. Parent this. Yep. We get the reverse of this string.